you want to climb with the llama? Then you got to join the farm! Only 30% of the llama's viewers are subscribed! What horror! How can you expect to climb without the llama's daily father of views? Okay, hit your hooves on that sub button we'll continue like none of this ever happened. But what you don't do is stand in the choke hoping your team gets a pick before their team. Uh, that is not playing Reinhardt. That is being a dude that stands still with a shield. I can train my fucking cat to do that. Meow. Hello, it is Al, the Angry Llama, ready to review your Overwatch trash can play. Okay, today we are looking at the Rhine One Trick Vod. He's at 2300, the gold SR, his name is Barker, and he's playing on the PC. Let's see what he has to say. King's Row Solo Q chose a close game with enemy Ryan. Our off tank was kind of throwing with ball pick later on and would not switch. On the end of our defense, our team was pushing up way too high without me, peeking corners alone and giving them man advantage. This guy sounds like he kind of knows what he's talking about. Maybe he's uh, he's got like five brain and I'm going to be like super impressed. He landed a good few shatters but only blocked one. As of now, my main issue is probably my lack of ult tracking on the enemy Rhine and then remembering to block shatters. Yes, that's important, uh, especially as you climb. Okay, we're on board with Barker. The Ryan one trick. Let's see how he handles these lasers. Okay, cool. You're moving forward. You're doing the shield dance. You ate a fire strike, but you gave one. That was pretty nice, 15%. Okay, good, good. But make space. Push forward. Push forward. Okay, uh, guys. Guys, listen. What are you doing when you're in the choke? Reinhardt, let's start with you. Uh... I think what I'm doing is like I'm waiting for my DPS to get like a sick pick and then I'll move forward. Well, <laughs> Reinhardt, uh, that was a very bad accident inside and nothing like Reinhardt, but let's pretend that worked. And uh, let me tell you why you're wrong. Your job is to make space so the DPS can get a pick. Standing in the choke with your shield up is what morons do. You need to take space, ideally like this. What you're going to do on your Reinhardt, you're going to get that same fire strike. You're going to see what they have. And if possible, you're going to wall this off as you move this way. And your whole team's going to rotate behind this statue. So you're going to call that out. Or you can do the other way. Sometimes I like this. Use your shield to move everybody through hotel. And then you come behind them and fuck them up. But what you don't do is stand in the choke hoping your team gets a pick before their team. Uh, that is not playing Reinhardt. That is being a dude that stands still with a shield. I can train my fucking cat to do that. Meow. Okay, and now how do we get back uh, in line with this guy? I thought that was the space bar. There we go, okay, the replay viewer does its own thing. Okay, so you're throwing fire, strike fine. Uh, they got your Genji, Saki. Uh, so again, what problem are you solving? None. I mean, the only thing... I, I just wonder, I, I guess... Okay, now, now you're making some space, and you back up. Now, I, listen guys, I don't think a lot of tanks know this or, or take appreciation of this, but I think what Barker just did taking out that turret, although not his job, is very helpful at ELOs where people don't really pay attention and walk through. So. What I'm saying is like, uh, a Reinhardt can walk past three lasers, no problem, right? But any other hero will die. So when you have a huge health pool, it is on you to break down those lasers so your healers and your little DPS can come through. Don't just walk through it because you can, because the people behind you cannot. Remember, you're the tank, you're the soak. Make it happen. Nice job, Barker. Let's see what you do here. I bet you charge like an asshole, but... Uh, they don't call me Nostradamus Llama for nothing. Let's see what you got. Come on, I feel an asshole charge coming up. Don't make me a lying alpaca. Oh, oh, oh that was nice. Yeah, yeah, swing, swing, swing. Oh, that was juicy. Remember, it's almost always better to do a shatter flame strike or a shatter swing than a shatter charge. Why, you ask? Because during a shat... How is this guy back up? During a shatter charge, you displace enemies while your team is trying to kill them. Not great. And you don't actually... 
you're way out of position, man. Like, I get it, but, like, do it or don't, but get the fuck back. Okay. Your team was dumb for not supporting you. You're dumb for going this way. I would have gone the back way, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, guys, in a shatter, you, you, you're gonna do more damage, you're gonna get more kills, you're gonna do a lot more if you do shatter flame strike or shatter swing. Do not sh shatter charge unless it's the only opportunity. Okay, so you got a very sweet grab, but you did not block his. Uh... So, also very. Oh, nice grab. Uh, nice shatter. Also very common um, is the uh, when the opposing Reinhardt gets in a grab, they will shatter as a counter. So keep your mind on that. If you have shatter, they have shatter. You know, usually, you know, uh, your math may vary. Dude, this isn't your fucking job. Like, it's not even remotely your job. Like, get back to doing your job. Get back. You're a tank. Where do tanks go? That's right, in the front. Where don't they go? Hunting Genjis. Like, you're, you're just paying attention to the wrong stuff. I mean, it's... That charge was really stupid. Here's why. Here's why. Let's talk about this, Barker. So, this is what he does, right? He charges in this Rhine, and he slams him here. Now, what's that do? Well, it opens his flank, doesn't it? It opens it up to the entire enemy team. Don't do that, dude. Charges on good Reinhardts are like five feet. If you can't charge him into something to kill him, that still keeps you in range of your healers while keeping you out of view of the other team, then don't fucking charge. Not kidding, unbinding it would probably improve a lot of you out there. Uh, let's continue. Bob Barker is dead. If you don't know who that is, <laughs> look it up, kids. It's embarrassing. I need to teach you about the the price is wrong, bitch. Okay. Still kicking. Oh, that is a nice, a nice chargey charge. Okay, so you get your corner. You're waiting for your team. Your fire is a bit feedy. Your widow's having kind of a hard time. Uh, you're in front now, but two in front, right? Yeah, you're gonna die. There is... Yeah, dude, okay, listen. You can't just go in and swing and hope for the best. You need to use some sort of thought process. That Anna has anti-nade. What blocks anti-nade? Your shield. You need to make sure that anti nades down before you charge in like Rambo, Mr. Stallone, Brady. Oh my god, you with this Genji. It's not your fucking job. Oi. All right, all right. But why isn't anyone else killing that? Oh, easy. That was juicy. Right there, the charge was appropriate because his flame strike is down. But have you noticed that he has never had his flame strike up for his shatter? I want you to start doing that. Save your flame strike for the shatter. You're going to secure a lot more team fights that way. Ugh. I didn't like the charge, I went to view- yeah, that's that's much better. And then you come back for peel, I like this, because you also need the healing. Good. Good job. Now put- Yeah, oh yeah, that was so sick. Put your spray down, bro. Easy, super. Just put your shit. You do know you work for a team, right? You're not just, uh, willy-nilly the big guy who does the most damage, oh, I'm the best. Like, it seems like you're not even considering your team behind you with your shield management. You do whatever you want. Alright, he's gonna shatter soon, right? Because he had that nano? Yeah, well, that's gonna be hard to live through, isn't it? But look at how out of position you were, again. You're way too far forward, man. I don't think you know where your team is. And believe me, it's difficult on a main tank like the Reinhardt to keep an eye behind you. They do not install the rearview mirror. They really should, it would be nice. But they don't, so you gotta stay in constant communication, you gotta know- What are you doing? Do you not care about your team? Okay. This is that weird, like, I'm waiting for a pick move- No, 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 your shield is down, don't go in! Do not push, you have no shield! Ugh. I don't know, man, that was lucky. You got a shield back up, that's nice. Full shield, really. This, this play worked out, but I was not the biggest fan. Maybe it did not work out.
So far, your Reinhardt is pretty aggressive. Uh, but not in chokes when it should be, which is a little weird. But um, if you shorten up your charges and pay attention a bit more to the other Reinhardt's ultimates, not yours, just, it's honestly very easy. You just say, oh, is my ultimate ready? Oh, shit, that means they probably have ultimates ready. Look at the team and go, uh-oh, what's coming up? And then you talk about it. Do you, okay, did he use Shatter yet? No, he didn't. Okay, let's be ready for that Shatter. And then you try to bait his out, and then you use it, and then you win team fight. This is like uh, the difference between this being checkers and chess is that kind of stuff. Being able to bait out the other Reinhardt. Um, yeah, you're going to get a flanking McCree at all elos, for the love of God. You knew she was going to bubble your fire strike. Why did you give it to her? Just think about those things, you know? Because it's a game of ultimates, as you know. That was nice. It looked like you wanted him to go in the hole, but uh, he couldn't. So again, what what did you die to? You died to not tracking Anna Need. And you might say to yourself, that's my job as a Reinhardt? It is if it keeps killing your ass or your team. Those Ant Anades are huge, dude. They've been destroyed. Do not, do not do it. Be smart. Good boy. But could you please shield your fucking healer? No, you, you don't believe you have... You don't believe you have a shield for your team. You believe you have a shield as part of your kick to kick ass. Wow. I don't have deja vu, but I wish I did. <laughs> what a dragon. Hey, 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 block that turret for him, man. What? Why would you do that? It's one of your best abilities. Come on, guys. If you really want to climb, I mean, think about it. Why? Don't waste anything. Every action. Use thought. Why am I doing this? What problem is this solving? And that could change at any given moment, but swing, baby, swing. Oh, that was good. You blocked the molten core and you got the, uh, yeah, well, this is going to suck. Don't walk in the molten core. So you could have lived, but maybe not for long. Uh, good push. You said, I believe, something about your... Um, oh, you said later that your uh, other tank chose ball and was kind of throwing. Uh, I guess we'll check that out now. Uh, that is what happens next, do you think? Okay, we're back on line with Barker, and you are in a shitty position, aren't you? <laughs> okay, let's pause it for all of you newbies out there. Apparently, Barker is new. Oh! He actually is new. Okay, Barker, well, uh, you're playing very well for a new guy. Like, if this is your first account, uh, you're playing quite well, and I love it. Uh, if this is like your Smurf, then uh, fucking, wow, we need to show you some things. <laughs> All right, look at this, guys. When you're in this choke on the King's Row, there is natural uh, border of where you need to be, and here it is. So uh, this wall is your cover. So when all outs fails, you use cover. Anyone going in front of this wall is essentially throwing. If your tank goes past here, they're, they're throwing. Come on, man. Like, like you got to play a little conservative, because guess what? You're all by yourself. People are doing fuck all. And this entire team has one goal. Get through choke. Remember that. Or try, try to think of it from the enemy team's point of view. What would you love to see if you came out on the attack? You know what I would love to see? Overextending Reinhardt, maybe no DPS. Oh, <laughs> juicy! Like you're making it real juicy for him, is what I'm saying. But let's continue and see what happens. Oh, that was a juicy fire strike. I like it. I hated that, but uh, you pinned him behind the cover, which was good. But I still hated it. It was too long, and it puts you, it puts your ass end. Like you got to think, like, all right, my shield and hammer are this way, but what is now looking at my bum bum? Is it? And it, are they going to shoot my bum bum? And if that answer is yes, then maybe don't charge in with your bum bum exposed. Oh, dude, unbind charge. You suck at it. You're killing me. You're literally not not protecting your team. You're just kind of playing a fat DPS right now. You just happen to be in the front. Most of the time? Actually, you did spend an inordinate amount of time chasing a Genji in the back line, so maybe you are brandy fucking new. Your job is to tank. 
That is to get in good positions with your healers. If that was really fucking stupid, like I don't even know where to start. I, I think all of the audience knows that you did everything wrong there. You charged too long. You exposed your flank, and you were doing it without your healers anywhere near you. Like it was so throwy. I don't know what to say. Okay, stop. So, dude, dude, you, you need to. Like, okay, if the healers can enable you to swing, you do fantastic. But if they're not up your butt, making sure you're okay, you're getting your ass handed to you. Do you not even look at your health pool, man? If you want a one trick, you better, uh. You better understand your job a little more. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I hate this. Yes, you're swinging. You're swinging. Uh, that. Oh, but that was a nice short charge, though. That was good. Oh, and a hell of a fire strike. But you need to live. I think. I think you're letting kills get above living. Nothing is more important than living. Nothing is more important than living. You're the main tank. You have to live. If you die, the push is over. You're probably gonna have your whole team die. So you need to be a little less aggro when you're getting your ass kicked because you just swing until you die. Like, that's not decision making. That's just doing fuck all until I die. And then saying, how am I doing, guys? Well, you want to know how your healers are doing? Is that what you're asking me? Because that's really the determining factor of your success right now. This is pretty good, but he's swinging on you, bro. Like, let's get some shield uh, juices up, yeah? Oh, these fucking charges from downtown, though, dude. Look out, I hear him charging. You know what's weird is you back up. You use your shield and back up behind your healers with the shield. Like, don't do that. That's, that's really like being a dickhead. Like, your job is to shield those people. They're weak without your shield. Like, you're a protector. Uh, like, like a caregiver. But not, not in real life, because I would not hire you to take care of a fucking chihuahua. I'm a little nervous you'd let it die just to grab an extra set of Oreos from the cookie jar. That's the kind of guy you are, you know what I mean? I'm a little worried. So this guy, don't you think he's going to shatter? He looks real aggressive. Sometimes you can tell just by how they're playing. They want to get up in your business with a bit of a shocker, maybe a pinky scandal. <laughs> okay. What? Come on, you know he wants it. Oh, dude. You tried to go under the cart, though. I respect that. Oh, that got... Cr like, your shatter didn't do shit, but whoa, you whooped some up. You know, Deja Vu is pretty good. You should probably go and give him whatever man-friendly thing you're comfortable with. And, uh, you know, tell him he's a good friend. Because holy Deja Vu, he's kind of carrying you fellas. I don't understand why you're not putting a shield in front of him. You have yet to try to enable your team. Put the... You literally almost let your main healer die because... Oh, I don't even understand. You're just a fat DPS, dude. You're not even tanking. I can't comment on your tanking because I don't believe you're even actively trying to do it. You are fat tracer or something. Maybe fat reaper? But I'm a little annoyed with your gameplay because... It is uh, very much not dependent on you. It's dependent on lucky circumstances as your decision making is complete shite. I'm gonna give you one more push before I give up on you and say you got a month to send me a better video because holy shit man, learn your job. It is not tittily winks. Get up there. Deja vu, oh, oh that's Clapton. Well Clapton's in the wrong spot. Man you are aggressive though. Oh that, that was also, oh that, nice. Dude, this is aggressive, but I like it. But again, you're dead. So, like, instead of taking those extra two swings, you could have just backed up and lived. Okay, I already know what it is. I'm done. Listen. I got it. I need three post-it notes on your monitor. Are you ready for these? These are specific to you. The first one. Are healers with me? You have to ask that. Every time you see an enemy and you want to go fuck with it, you go, are my healers with me? Just look. Ask. Okay. Next. Am I protecting and enabling my team? 
Am I protecting and enabling my team? You can shorten it up if you want, protect team or whatever. But what that means is you're using your shield to enable your DPS. Did you see Deja Vu popping off? You should have been trying to enable him. Your job is not to have all the golds. In fact, if you have all the golds, it's usually because you're feeding. And guess what? You're kind of feeding. So the third note is going to say, I must live over anything else. I must live. So even if you play the most pensious Reinhardt for the first like week of this, but you learn that you must live, then that's awesome, dude. Then, then next week you put the next post-it note up and you focus on that. This is not overnight stuff. This is uh, takes minutes to learn, lifetime to master, and everyone thinks they're a god. So uh, welcome to Overwatch, Lama out. So that's it. I am doing 90 videos in 90 days. Think about supporting your favorite livestock by sharing this video on your social medias. Consider subscribing and liking this video. And are you interested in submitting your gameplay or have a video you feel the llama must see? There are a number of ways to get the llama's attention. One, you can make a post over at my favorite learning community, r slash Overwatch University. Put something about the llama in the title and I will review your trash can gameplay. Two, you can put it in a comment below on this video. Remember to tell me your current SR, your story, your hero, and your replay code. And lastly, for all of you boomers, I also have the email. You can email me at angrylamareviews at gmail.com. Thank you for watching the video and for supporting the channel. Lama out.